Hi everyone, I'm Jonah, and today's tutorial, how to change out your old light switch. So this is my old plain Jane light switch in one of our bedrooms, and I'm going to change it out and give it a fresh look. Now let's test out our light switch. Then we'll leave the light on. And if you're interested in how to fix an upside down light switch, then check out my thumbnail link at the end of this video. So now, we'll change out the old light switch with this paddle switch design, which I picked up in our local hardware store. It's 15 amps and 120 volts. Notice the two brass screws. Two black wires will be hooked onto that. And notice the one green screw. This is for our bare copper ground wire. And this is our cover plate with two screws, which I also picked up at our local hardware store. If you know which one of the small breakers the light switch is connected to, that's good. So safety first, we have to shut off our breakers. So in my case, I already know it's the number two breaker right here. And I shut it off. And therefore shuts off our lights. But if you don't know, your best bet and your safest bet is to always shut off the main breaker right here. And if you do shut off the main breaker, you may have to reset your digital clocks around the house because it will be blinking zero zero. Now with our flathead screwdriver, let's remove the two screws and then remove the cover plate. Now remove these other two screws, right here. Now notice the two black wires. And you're probably saying to yourself, Jonah, those look like white wires. Yes, but what happened was, when the contractors painted the house, the white paint oversprayed into the black wires. Notice at the back of the wires, they are true black wires. The black wires are usually hot or live. Since we shut off our breakers, we are good to go. But if you want to double check, we can use our wire testers. The first tester will light up if it's hot. And my second tester will beep and light up if it's hot. And if you want to learn how to use these two wire testers, check out the end of this video. My thumbnail link how to use these two testers. can see we have no power since it did not light up or beep. Now we're good to go and we can touch the wires. Notice my switch is still on the on position. So now I will line up the new paddle switch with the old switch. If you do not know the position, which one's top or bottom, take a look at here. At the end, it will show top. Mm -hmm. 
and compare our new one to the old one. I noticed the old one doesn't have the green screw for the ground wire connection. Therefore, we will fix that later on. In the meantime, I will locate the ground wire. And there it is. It's the bare copper wire connected to that screw. And once again, it looks white because of the overspray of the white paint. But as we look closer, notice the bare copper wire. And that's our ground wire. And just to get a closer look, I will scratch off that white paint to expose the bare copper wire, which is our ground wire. Now I'll proceed to undo the two black wires. Just loosen the screw, do not undo it. Don't forget the positions of the wire. Notice again the position of the wires. Hook in the top wire. And you may need to use a needle nose pliers to make a little adjustment. And crimp the wire tighter with your needle nose pliers. Then tighten up the two screws, nice and tight. Now we have to connect our ground wire to the green screw. So I cut out an extra 6 inch wire cable. Then I use this tool that splits the protective sheathing to expose the copper wire. But if you don't have this tool, you can use a regular box cutter, just be careful. Then we peel out the protective sheathing and pull out the copper wire. Then with my square head driver, I only loosen the bolt. Just enough to hook in my copper wire. Then I make a hook at the end of my wire and give it a little bend, like so. And I take the wire and hook the bolt. Then I pinch it tight with my needle nose pliers. Then tighten the bolt again. Then I make a hook at the other end of the wire. Then I hook it to the green screw.
Then I pinch the hook and tighten it down. Then I tuck all the wires back in. Then I put the two screws back in. And then I install my cover plate. And voila, we're finally finished. So let's turn the power back on. So if you like my video, give me a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you always get my latest videos. Because this will help me make more DIY videos that help out our YouTube viewers like yourself. And as always, thanks for watching.